Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss how to create a new line in a character string. I will go over how to display strings on separate lines. The customer table below contains customers in a customer table. We're going to create a query that displays each customer's name and address. This query concatenates the first name, last name, address, city and state and postal code and it's going to display all of that information under a new column called address. So we'll click execute and you see each of the customers, the first customer is John Dittens and he lives at 2211 22nd Avenue North in Atlanta, Georgia at 98718 and as you can see all of the addresses and names are under one column called address. Now let's say you wanted to create an address label where you wanted to display the name and the address on separate lines. To do this we could use character 13 because this is used to create a carriage return in strings. So we can create a character return after the name and then one after the address. So let's take a look at our new query. We're going to insert three carriage returns. So here we have the first name, the last name, and then we're going to have a character return. And that's going to cause it to drop down to a new space and then we'll have our address. Then after the address we're going to have another character return here. And then we'll have the city and the state. And then lastly we're going to add one more character return and that'll cause a space in between each of the names and addresses of each customer. Now in order to do this we have to change our results to text instead of grid. So we go to query, we go to results to, and right now it's set on results to grid but we're going to go to results in text. And then we click execute And as you can see, each of the customers have a space in between. And the name of the customer is first. Then we have a carriage return, and then you'll see the address. Then we have another carriage return, and you see the city, the state, and the zip code. So as you can see, we used three carriage returns. There's one after the last name. So here's like Lily Ward. And then there's a character break. There's the address. Then we have one after the address right here. So 1010 33rd Avenue North, character break down to Miami. And then we have one right at the end here, which causes a space in between each of the customers. I hope that you enjoyed learning about how to create a new line in a character string. If you'd like more in-depth learning, please check out my SQL course in the description section below.